Let's go ahead and find the determinant of another 3x3 three three matrix. So this one will be a little bit simpler. So this one is going to be capital B equals, uh, let's say we have 7 and then 2, 0, 3, negative 15, 0, and then 6, minus 4, and 2. Okay, so if we remember what we talked about in the previous video, we can do the first row, second row, third row, or first column, second column, third column. Now, if we use the technique that we used in the previous video, it's going to be easiest to use the third column, and the reason is that we have these two zeros here. Okay, so that's going to greatly simplify the calculation. So if we use the third column there, what are we going to have? Well, determinant of B is going to be, let's use the zero up here. So zero times the determinant of what? Well, this zero is in the first row and third column. So ignore first row, ignore third column, what's left over? 3, negative 15, 6, negative 4. 3, negative 15, 6, negative 4. Not that it matters because we're going to multiply by zero, so it becomes zero anyway. But just to be thorough and just to make sure we know what's going on and that we know how to use the formula, we'll just uh, write it all down. So then we have minus, remember from the pattern, the sign pattern, this, this part's a minus, zero times the determinant of what? Well, this zero is in the second row and third column, so ignore the second row, ignore the third column, what's left over? 7, 2, 6, and negative 4. 7, 2, 6, negative 4. And again, it doesn't actually matter because we're going to multiply by zero, so it all becomes zero anyway. And then lastly, plus 2, so plus sign, because of the sign pattern that we follow when we do this method here, plus 2 times the determinant of what? Well, this 2 is in the third row and third column, so if we ignore the third row, ignore the third column, what's left over? 7, 2, 3, and negative 15. So 7, 2, 3, and negative 15. Okay. So if we go ahead and calculate this, this is going to be 0 times some mess here, which is just 0. So we don't really care what this is because we're multiplying by 0, so it's just 0. Okay. Now, it's one goofy looking 0. Now we have minus 0 times what? Minus 0 times who cares because 0 times this number is just 0 anyway. So, so far we have 0 minus 0, another goofy looking 0 there, and then plus 2 times what? Well, here, we're actually going to have to calculate something, because this is a 2 now. So if we want to find the, this determinant here, this value here, we're going to do top left times bottom right minus bottom left times top right. So top left is 7, bottom right is 15. So this is 7 times negative 15, and then minus 3 times 2. Oops. Minus 3 times 2. OK, so 0 minus 0 is just 0, so nothing going on here. Then we have 2. OK, plus 2 just gives us plain old 2 times what? Well, 15 times 7 is 105, and we have a minus sign here, so this is actually minus 105. And then minus 3 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, so this is a minus 6. Minus 6. OK, so we're running out of room down here, so we'll just keep going to the right. So this is 2 times negative 105 minus 6. Well, negative 105 minus 6 is negative 111. And then if we take that and multiply by 2, we get negative 2, 2, 2. So minus 222 is the determinant of this matrix here. And we use the same method that we used in the previous video, but in this case, we want to be careful about which row or which column we choose, because if we have zeros lurking around like this, uh, it's going to make it a lot easier if we use those to our advantage. And that's what we did here. So instead of having to find the determinant of three 2 by 2 matrices, we only had to find the determinant of one 2 by 2 matrix. And that made things a lot simpler for us. So anyway, that's another example of finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix.